Internationally renowned pop artist Charles Fazzino is at the forefront of the 3D pop art movement. Over the past 30 years, he has honed his distinctive style and intricate 3D technique. His work is exhibited in hundreds of fine art galleries and museums worldwide. His 3D art, literally and figuratively, jumps off of the canvas and is eminently recognizable by its colorful and detailed whimsy. Not only is he the quintessential sports artist, painting many Super Bowls, MLB All-Star Games, the Belmont Stakes, and the Olympics to name just a few, but his art runs the gamut from cityscapes to pop culture and beyond. He's received many important commissions from celebrities, government officials, high-profile events, and powerful corporations. His ability to capture the entire essence of these places, events, and subjects is legendary and sought after around the globe. The Art Museum of Fort Lauderdale featured Fazzino's work during the city's 100th anniversary. As the official artist of the anniversary, his unique 3D paintings and innovative Faces of Fort Lauderdale Museum exhibition ignited the entire community. The museum is proud to uh, host this exhibition of uh, Charles Fazzino's uh, work, specifically uh, the commissioned work uh, for the Fort Lauderdale Centennial, which of course we'll be celebrating in 2011. I mean, the museum sort of firmly believes that, you know, we're about the visual history of our civilization. Well, our civilization here in Fort Lauderdale is only 100 years old, and somehow Charles has managed to pack it all into uh, this one work of art, which will be unveiled uh, uh, this evening. But what I think is really exciting about Charles his work is that there's a social purpose to it and the excitement around having the exhibition here, uh, the excitement around the poster, um, the fact that we're getting politicians here and members of the community and the Centennial Commission really shows us the importance, the, the social purpose of works of art and uh, that's what I'd like to underscore uh, with uh, uh, this evening's event. I've been commissioned by the, the City of Fort Lauderdale to do the Winter Boat Parade artwork as well as commemorate 100 years of Fort Lauderdale. So what I've come up with, I wanted really something, uh, the uh, exhibit to be sort of a cross-section of everything between my three-dimensional artwork as well as bringing in some sort of history and historical facts into each piece of art. The focus of the exhibit is the, um, the Faces exhibit, and each one of the faces depict a certain decade in the history of Fort Lauderdale, and each one uh, of the um, portraits are, are fictitious and, and not real, but the inside of the diorama, or I should say the visionograph, is based on historic facts. And they're really something that have to be seen. You have to uh, get into the, the, the face of the person, look through their eyes, and it sort of gives you a glimpse into that particular decade. South Florida and, and Fort Lauderdale has a notorious history for hurricanes. And I felt to leave out a hundred years without incorporating a hurricane would be something that I wouldn't be right for the history. So this particular installation has to do with uh, Hurricane Cleo that came in in the 1960s. So this is sort of a timeline, an act like a snapshot of a beach and a beach receptacle of everything left in the 1960s and possibly what it would, would have been like the day before the hurricane started coming in. Charles Fazzino's Super Bowl weeks are a blur of exhibitions, signings, and radio and TV appearances. None may have had more importance than this appearance on CBS Sunday Morning with Charles Osgood on the morning of Super Bowl 47 in New Orleans. This cityscape of New Orleans at Super Bowl time is the work of Charles Fazzino. For more than a decade now, he's been something of a Super Bowl institution. Win, lose, and most definitely, draw. It may seem like an unlikely match, but America's biggest sporting event has its own artist. You don't have game day jitters, do you? I, I don't. <laughs> Fazzino, known for his colorful 3D scenes, was first asked to capture the Super Bowl hoopla 13 years ago, and he's been at every game since. Ah, oh, I love it. 
So what exactly does a Super Bowl artist do? Along with the cityscapes, he designs posters, merchandise. Wow. This is the one that was made for this year. Right. And special commemorative helmets. And the two teams, and that gets put in, obviously, at the last moment. Charles Fizzino is the go-to artist for many of the highest profile events in our popular culture. It's the type of art that you don't have to have an art education to understand it. It makes you feel good when you look at it. Right. It's fun. It is fun. It's sentimental. Right. And everybody responds to it. Born and raised in New York, Fazzino went to art school in the late 1970s. He was inspired by whimsical artists like Red Grooms and soon developed his own signature look. The process really comes from, you know, doodles as a child. And then I love pop-out books and did a little bit of printmaking in school. Everything came together. While no subject is too big, even the whole world, to Fazzino, it's the small details that matter. Do people who have your work say, I discovered something new, Charles, this week <laughs> I've never seen before? Always. That is, <laughs> people say they've had pieces of artwork on their wall for 20 years, and they're amazed that they never saw this or right. never saw that. For the Super Bowl, all of those 3D details begin with a simple sketch. It's about the game, but it's also about, you know, where are we? We're in New Orleans, and I want to set the theme for being in New Orleans. Fazino is also known for large-scale permanent installations. More than a million people each month visit JFK Airport and are treated to the American Airlines 3D Fazino collection. His large-scale works can also be seen in hospitals, government offices, and corporations everywhere. Well, I'm so excited about my new piece of artwork. It is one of my three-dimensional sculptures for the terminal here in American Airlines here in New York City. It's been uh, a labor of love, working with the plane, hand painting it in such a way to get it to really look right at the right angle. The creative process with all my pieces always starts off with an original drawing, and then whether it be on paper or on sculpture, it's the same process, and I plan out things. I use a lot of hand printing process. The media that I, I use is a mixture of decoupage, of 3D, and there's so much time involved. And I think that's what people, when they look at my artwork, they can appreciate it, even if you're not an art lover, they can appreciate the amount of time that's involved into each one of my pieces. And I've been doing this for now for 30 years, and the 3D process has sort of become synonymous with my name. Everyone knows me as the 3D artist from New York. Super Bowl is the biggest sporting event in the U.S., but the Olympic Games are the biggest sporting events in the world. It's not surprising that Team USA has turned to Fazino to commemorate every Olympic game since 2000 in Sydney, Australia. Here he is in London in 2012. Welcome to this edition of the London Beat presented by T-Mobile. I'm Kristen Kenny. Charles Fazzino has created Super Bowl, World Series, and Olympic pop art for more than a decade. Our Chelsea Cannell filed this report with her Samsung Galaxy S3 running on T-Mobile's 4G network. Well, I'm here at the Team USA house with Charles Fazzino, who is the official artist of Team USA. And Charles, we're standing in front of one of your magnificent creations. Tell me about this piece. Well, it's this year's piece for, for London. It's a very exciting piece. I really tried to capture the essence of, of the Olympic Games here in London. Internationally renowned, Fazzino's work is exhibited in more than 20 different countries around the world. He's well known in Germany, France, Japan, Switzerland, Belgium, and even Luxembourg and Singapore. German TV captured his visit to the German island of Silt, and it is symbolic of Fazzino's popularity all over the world. Kunst als Happening inszenieren, das schafft die Galerie Mensing wie kaum ein anderer. Regelmäßig holt sich der Betreiber Harry Mensing namenhafte Künstler persönlich ins Haus. So auch Charles Fasino, den weltweit führenden Künstler der Pop-Art. Kunst soll heutzutage Spaß machen, meint der Galeriebetreiber. Eine Philosophie, die auch bei den Künstlern ankommt. Bereits zum zweiten Mal folgte Charles Fasino der Einladung des Hauses Mensing. Der Maler reiste extra aus Amerika an. 
Fazino's Art is a lifestyle brand all its own. When a major luggage manufacturer rolled out their new line of Fazino hard side luggage, they did it in style, rolling out the red carpet and pulling up the rolls. I think it's really a great marriage and a collaboration between Hayes and Fazino. This is something that you probably have never seen. It's exciting, it's colorful, it looks like Fazino. And the really cool thing about it is that the, the colors, how it really captures my artwork and my palette. Macy's Fashion Night Out is so important to me because I am a New York City artist and Macy's de is depicted in all the pieces of luggage. So I think it's a really great collaboration that it's here and it's in New York and it's tonight. Little League Baseball was celebrating its 75th anniversary in Williamsport. They commissioned a custom Fazino piece of art to commemorate this historic event. They received a lot more. The art and the artist Fazino Palooza was born. <laughs> Fazino and his team created a captivating Broadway level production for 1,200 fifth graders that included an inside look at how Charles creates his art. The event also included music, acting, and of course, an unveiling replete with confetti. Simply put, Fazino brought his art and 1,200 fifth graders to life and to their feet with a standing ovation to celebrate Little League Baseball. In honor of the Little League World Series 75th anniversary, a world famous artist is building a giant piece of commemorative art and some local fifth graders are playing a big role in how it turns out. Eyewitness News reporter Valerie Tysaner has our story from Lycoming County. Yeah, World-renowned artist Charles Fazino is working on a massive piece of 3D art to commemorate the history of the 75th Little League World Series. My pieces are a labor of love. But I love sharing uh, the process with kids. He shared the process Thursday morning with nearly 40 fifth graders from schools in Lycoming and Sullivan counties. The students spent nearly two hours working with Fazino using his tools and gluing together pieces of 3D art. They also created baseballs, symbolizing what Little League means to them. They say art imitates life. With the ride, Fazino's art was literally brought to life. As the world's only interactive performance art vehicle, it took Manhattan by storm, featuring the artwork of Charles Fazino. This theatrical tour of New York City was narrated by Fazino, and along the route, the artist's work was brought to life as the centerpiece of the sweeping event that won critical acclaim and a nomination for the prestigious 2013 Drama Desk Award. Charles Fazino is sought after by the best of the best. He's worked on some of the world's greatest events, and he's been interviewed by some of the world's most famous television and radio personalities. Regis Philbin, also a collector, invited him onto his new sports television show, The Crowd Goes Wild, before Super Bowl 48 in New York. Our next guest happens to be one of the most creative guys working today, and to top it all off, he is the official artist of the Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome for Charles Fazino, right here. So we have a little bit of that right in front of us, don't we? Yes. How long does it take you to create one of these? Uh, one of the hand-painted helmets uh, takes sometimes weeks. Uh, for, uh, could be longer, could be less. It really depends on what event I'm working on and, and the inspiration, you know, everything. What are you, sorry, Drew. Go ahead. What are you required to do as the Super Bowl artist, the well, official artist? 
Yeah, every year it's different. I've been uh, creating artwork for the NFL for Super Bowl, so I think for the past 14 years. And every year, like I may do uh, uh, an official poster that mm -hmm. is uh, seen in the, in the host city. Sometimes I work with, and most of the time I work with the host committee. And in that city, I may uh, make a whole collection of artwork. Uh, I've done everything from invitations to, uh, you know, fine art pieces that are sold in art galleries all across the country during and up to the game. How challenging is New York then? New York is my town. So for me, it's, uh, it's kind of like your show. It's so exciting and fun. And that's where I get my inspiration Charles. from, you know? It, it, <laughs> I love Charles. Charles can come back again. We want three. Charles again. <laughs> Fazzino's artistic sensibility has led him to being tapped by famous events and celebrities alike. His influence on popular culture has allowed him to reach into the very fabric of our lives and the lives of so many around the world.